Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are five students. They were finalists in an essay writing competition. They were evaluated on two parameters, that is content and grammar. So the maximum marks was seven in content and eight in grammar. These students obtained scores in positive integers in both these parameters. No two students got the same marks in the same parameter. That means distinct marks in like for example all of them will have distinct marks in content all of them will have distinct marks in grammar the table below gives the ranks allotted on the basis of scores in each of these parameters the final ranking was based on total score obtained out of 15 the final ranking saw no ties and nikhil was first in the final ranking so this is the information given to us and we are given the ranks of these students we are not given the marks so based on this table we we have to determine that what could be the possible marks in the two sections now uh, we are given that nikhil was first in the final ranking so if we see that nikhil got first rank in grammar however in <coughs> content nikhil has four marks uh, fourth rank okay and uh, if you see the second person uh, in this case is ishika so Ishika has first rank in content and second rank in grammar, right? And if you see the first ranker here, that person has fourth rank. So this means that Nikhil must have got a very high score in uh, grammar as compared to Ishika. That is why, uh, I mean, it should not be just a one mark difference. Now, if you look at this number, let's say that Ishika got the first rank and Nikhil got the fourth rank so that means she must have at least three marks more because all of them got distinct marks so let us say uh, just taking an example let us say if she has got uh, in content the total is seven okay so suppose she got seven now this person get six this person can get five this person can get four so minimum there is three marks gap okay so if this person has x marks Ishika must have x plus 3 that is the minimum one it could be more also because it is not necessary that these are consecutive numbers you can have more difference also okay now if you look at the uh, rank in grammar uh, he Nikhil is first and Ishika is second now this means that Ishika has at least gap of three marks here now in overall if Nikhil has to have greater than Ishika so Nikhil should gain four marks in this, at least four marks because Ishika has minimum lead of three marks. So if you have to get a lead of one mark, minimum one mark to get the first rank. So Nikhil should have at least four marks more. Now, eight is the maximum for grammar. So if we put eight here, so Ishika can get only four. Now, if you see this, this is four, this should be three this should be 2 and this should be 1 because all students got positive integers and distinct numbers. So we can see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 8. So Nikhil has now a lead of 8. Now we said that there is minimum 3 marks gap like at least 3 marks more. But if we make it x plus 4, so let us say if you make it x plus 4, so what will happen? the total will be x plus 8 and Nikhil will also have total of x plus 8 which is not possible. So that is why it will not be x plus 4, it will be just a 3 mark gap that is x plus 3. So total marks of Ishika will be x plus 7. Now x plus 3, second person should have x plus 2, third person should have x plus 1 and Nikhil should have x. Now, current should have less than x so that the total is uh, so that uh, he is fifth rank less than x. Now, if we add the totals, so this turns out to be x plus 4. This is x plus 2. If we add this, let us say if we say less than x and 3, the total will be less than x plus 3. Now, if you see less than x plus 3, x plus 2 is also a number which is less than x plus 3 but it is not possible as x plus 2 because if Karan also has x plus 2 and Taresh also has x plus 2 which is not possible. It says that final ranking uh, saw no ties. So that means it cannot be less than x. It has to be less than x minus 1. 
in this case this will become less than x plus 2 so that we have distinct ranking so this person is first this is second third fourth and this person turned out to be fifth overall now what could be the possible values of x now x uh, the maximum marks in content is 7 so x we can put as 4 if you put 4 it will be 7 and uh, we can have possibilities and uh, can we put x equal to 3 if you put x equal to 3 6 all these are possible less than x minus 1 x minus 1 will be 2 right x minus 1 is 2 and less than 2 yes it is possible now if we put x equal to 2 what will happen uh, the current score should be less than 1 now less than 1 is not possible if we take this x minus 1 should be 1 now less than 1 is not possible so this is not a possibility so we have two possible values of x which are 3 and 4 now let us look at the questions who was ranked overall fourth in the competition so overall fourth is Taresh how many possible combinations of values can the five students obtain in the marking based on content okay so we need to find the possible uh, combinations of values so if you put x equal to 4 this person will have 7 marks okay this will be 6 5 4 and less than uh, 3 so we can have 1 marks also we can have 2 marks also so we have two possibilities in this scenario now if you look at uh, x equal to 3 so uh, less than 2 only one value is possible 1 this will be 6 4, 3 and 5 putting x equal to 3. For x equal to 4, two possible values were correct and for x equal to 3, only one possible value. So we see that there are three such possible combinations. How many of the five students could have got a prime number score in content, grammar as well as in total score? Now we know that except two, all are odd prime numbers. So if we add two odd numbers, we get an even number. So that uh, that is not possible that first number second number total also or uh, also prime not possible so one of the numbers should be two so two plus any odd number will be an odd number so we have to check a person who could have got two marks and uh, like we we say that that could have got so we have to think of the different possibilities now if you look at uh, karan here so if we consider this scenario 2 and 3 total is 5 so in that scenario Karan could have could have been that person now second person getting two points is Apurva so if you consider this scene in this case it is 5 plus 2 which is 7 so there are two possible students who could have got so it is not saying that definitely got it is saying that could have got <coughs> a prime total so we could have two possible students who could have got prime total in content grammar as well as in total score which of the following statements is definitely false Tarish got four more marks in the content than Karan so Karan uh, Tarish like one and five one that is possible so this is not definitely false because it is possible in one of the cases so definitely false means that it should be false in all the scenarios Nikhil has a total score of 11 now uh, Nikhil is x plus 8 now if you put x equal to 3 the total becomes 11 so this is also possible the student with the third highest total got a score of 8 so third total is x plus 4 so if we put x equal to 4 the total can be 8 so this is also possible Taresh has a total score of 7 so Taresh total is x plus 2 so either it will be 5 or it will be 6 it cannot be 7 hence this statement is definitely false so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions